Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Here are the super patrons, it's Mazza Badger and Brady Burns, as well as the regular patrons of Tooties and Bellowash. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. In this episode, we are going to be going for the MP40, as well as the upgraded version of it, which is known as the Afterburner. Uh, I like how I sound like a, uh, like a co-host, uh, narrator kind of person. And in this news, we have a clown escaping from the local zoo. Nobody knows why it happened, but people are baffled. But, uh, yes, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I hope, uh, school, uh, school comes back. Um, well, school is back for a lot of people. Um, so I hope, uh, stress isn't happening to a lot of you. Uh, school is obviously very stressful for a lot of people. So I'm hoping that you're able to find, you know, some nice ways to, you know, get rid of that stress. You know, hanging with friends, you know, vibing, you know, all that nice yes. stuff. Ooh, that was nice. You don't often actually hit them through the barricade like that. But, um, yeah, so in this video, we're going to be going for the MP40. Um, so 7575, 1250, that equals 2750, plus 1000 is 3750. 3750, will we be able to reach that? Maybe. We'll give it a try. Uh, cool, or quick math. Um, whoops. I can quick at I can quick math, but I can't quick aim. Apparently, that's the that's the problem of my generation. We're just too young. Cause uh, well, see the thing about uh, I think the one thing that uh you really do uh feel when you grow up, at least like when you mature properly, uh, is you really know you just you just fully figure out that like age really, like other for other than dating and you know you know gun laws and alcohol and things like that. Age doesn't really matter. Like, you can just have a chat. Like, if you're, like, 30, you can chat with a 50-year-old and it doesn't matter. Like, it's just, like... Like, there shouldn't be any, like, MY GENERATION IS BETTER THAN YOURS! Like, people, like, become less elitist is basically what I'm saying. Um, which is really nice to kind of have... Uh, game. I would like you to work, please. Uh, but it's really nice to see that, and I think it's one of the things that needs to be focused on more. Honestly, uh, it happens all the time. Uh, Snami, uh, smarmy actions happened all the time. Uh, like I think we can all agree that there's been like at least like one time where you know maybe uh, you're in high school or something, and then like the year 12s are like <laughs> check out this like you know this person. They would obviously use maybe harsher language. But, um, something like that. And it's just so uncalled for and dumb, really. I feel like no one should really just automatically feel like they're, like, the more greater person. Oh. I didn't realize. I thought they were... I thought they died. Uh, I shot them in the head, Doctor, and they just kept walking. There we go. Good target practice. It is a good target practice. Maybe I'll be doing the campaign later today, or maybe I'll play with some Resident Evil Revelations. Who knows? I have a lot on my plate, though. Essentially is what that state, uh, statement is about. Damn, that wasn't a double headshot. That's, that's lame. Love that sound. Don't you love the headshot behind the head of the zombie that you're trying to shoot to get the double headshot? It's a patented uh, technique for me. Which means trademarked. For anyone who obviously can't hear my voice because I'm uh, bad at speaking. Um, okay, so 750. 750. Then we'll open this up. 1250. Uh, and then we'll get the MP40. Uh, we'll also try to pack a punch the pistol. Uh, I don't think I've really. I've shown it off once in its own episode. Uh, with the PPSH as well, uh, but I don't really feel like I've done it justice enough, really. Uh, so we'll probably go and try to give it a, its own video. We'll throw a grenade, may as well. Uh, we'll throw some more grenades, just generally around out there, just so then, if we can ha land a lucky grenade, uh, we can increase our funds, as if this was like an Advance Wars game. Which I really do want to do Advance Wars soon. Uh, apparently the remakes are going to be coming out very shortly. Uh, well, unpostponed is a better term. Uh, and I'm so happy about that because Advance Wars is such a fun and amazing game. 
Uh, and it was really annoying. Uh, I think it was 2021. Two years ago, essentially. Uh, well, at the end of 2021, where it was like, yeah, we're getting Advanced Wars Reboot Camp. And then they were like, we're postponing it because of the war. And then it was like, oh, awesome. My favorite game being thrown away again. Awesome. Surprised, uh, I'm surprised no one has done a shitty uh, move on that. I like how uh, all the people who make, you know, shooter games and stuff like that are being very respectful of what's happening. Uh, and instead of just making some quick, like, oh my god, you can now in the, in the gulag, you can go do this and fight, you know, whatever. I'm happy that no company tried to do something as shallow as that. I like how there's zom that zombie over there. Oh, he is walking. I didn't really. I didn't know if he was walking or not. Um, I think we're gonna have to squeeze out as much points as we can. Hmm. Maybe not. Oh, 100% not. Like I'm just trying to get jug. So yeah, this is fun. Uh, we can get Jug, we can turn that teleporter on, and then we're already one third of the way. Uh, essentially more, actually. Because uh, now it's only 2,000 points uh, plus 5,000. So, 7,000 points in probably like 5 rounds or something. That's pretty good. That's like the usual. Usually it's around like 8 or 7, uh, 8 or 9 that you get uh, the Pack-A-Punch done. Uh, at least, like, I've been playing this map, like, 50 times, because I've been, uh, starting to do a new tier list for you guys. Uh, the old tier list I made, I felt like it just doesn't work well, uh, because almost all the time you're like, this gun is this good, except for when you pack a punch it, in which it actually changes completely, and then, uh, this list is actually just dumb and invalid. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing a pack a punch list, like, how good is each gun to pack a punch? Uh, and then do a list where I solely just say, yo, this is how good every gun is baseline. Uh, so hopefully that will like be able to... Because like, in this game, I feel like it's actually kind of wrong in a way to just base you know things on Pack-A-Punch. And because uh, like, uh, Doris and every other map is kind of like a different game. I think we can kind of agree... Like, Doris and then every other map is just so different in this game. Like, if there was Kino on this game, like there were plans to, uh, it would be 100% different. But since there's literally only, like, you know, one map with Pack-A-Punch, uh, and obviously there's a training strategy in this area, and then a camping strategy at the catwalk, uh, those are the two strategies. Oh my god, this aim. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. Uh, but because there's only those two mainstream strategies on this map, or the two coins of a Zombies player. Um, you kind of have to just uh, think of those two things. So obviously something like an LMG or, you know, something like the PPSH, which is an LMG, but also, you know, the mobility of not an LMG. Uh, obviously things like that are going to dominate on the top. Really? That's so bad for us. We're getting so much points. So many points. Proper grammar, learn it. Um, dog round? Maybe, please? Maybe? No, okay. That's fine. That's very interesting to know that this was one of the barriers that was opened. Because uh, we had that carpenter, so that was one of the areas that zombies were coming out of. Maybe at the very start, some zombies spawned there. I see one up there. Jesus. It's not even that bad. Like, it's not even like, oh my god, I'm the absolute ninja for dodging all that. It's just, Cody, please don't, don't screw this up. Okay, we have, oh, we have uh, this. So we'll equip this as our main thing now uh, for this insta-kill. 
because that way we don't lose out on much and we can easily control what zombies die by gunfire and which zombies die otherwise. Okay. We're now essentially just waiting for the final zombie to arrive. Yeah, we're going to have to do it in another round, and if it's a dog round, we're going to have to do it on uh, another round above that. Was there like a doop da 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 doop in the background or something? Yeah, final zombie. Uh, we have a pretty good amount of points, honestly, overall. Uh, we'll go and get the Type 100 room done, and then we'll go and basically just do one more round, because we'll have to. Hopefully, yet again, it's not a dog round. However, I think seven is the maximum time you ha you can wait for a dog round. Um, and then after that, I think it's every five or four rounds, maybe. I'm not sure. Throw away my entire credibility there. But, uh... Yeah, there's there's a bunch of mechanics, uh, and they change every single game. Like, uh, I know in Kino, I think it's five to six rounds for dogs, and then they stay pretty consistent with that. Man, every single t time I think of the giant version of this map, I think it would actually be really cool if someone introduced uh, a better version of Deadshot on this map that's always there. That's one thing I also wish. I wish that um, this version of the map... Once you unlock something, we'll just grab this, I don't care. Uh, once you unlock something, like you unlock the, um, you know, like, like you do like a big easter egg. Like, I think it would have been really cool if you finished a big easter egg on this map. Like you finished all the easter eggs and then it unlocks, uh, and then it unlocks it and then it's a one time thing. Like if you unlocked it, you unlocked it. I think that would have been a really cool uh, way to do it. We could actually maybe have enough points. Okay, we actually have enough. So, round 8 will be the round that we pack a punch. One thing that's interesting is dogs in this game seem to take less damage when in an unprovoked state. It doesn't actually matter about the max ammo because at the end of the day we're using the MP40. Um, the best case scenario is we get a nuke here. Okay, uh, you can see the weird uh, 85 uh, thing. But uh, here is the uh, MP40. Uh, we've got a max ammo, but here's the MP40. It looks absolutely beautiful uh, when the textures are working. Which they obviously weren't before. But, um, absolutely beautiful, gorgeous weapon. Uh, I love it. Uh, the only downside, as all SMGs, uh, have is just the simple fact that it just does not have much staying power. Unlike the STG 44, it actually has like 250 bullets in total. Uh, essentially 250 bullets in total. Um, we're just gonna throw a bunch of grenades down there. Hello? Would you like to chat? Maybe have some tea? Hello? Hello? I think he's dead. It's unfortunate. I thought we were going to have a nice conversation, but apparently not. Um, so at this point, we just want to get a secondary pack-a-punched gun, which will be the pistol, maybe? I'm not sure. But probably the pistol. Okay. We can now just simply do this pretty easily. Um, we'll take the fight to them. Um, Poya! Gotcha. Um, okay. Yeah, so I guess next round we'll, uh, pack a punch again. Uh, I think for this point we may as well just stay here. Uh, the really good thing uh, about Packer punching the pistol is you essentially have a Panzer Shrek in your hand. 
and you can kind of just go, especially if you have speed cola, it's literally half a second reload essentially. You can literally just like shoot in that area, like with like an, a with like maybe a two second pause. You can just shoot at the end of here to there, and you essentially are just god mode for a few rounds until you run out of ammo essentially. Uh, when you get to like round 20s and stuff, obviously uh, it's less viable because of the damage. Oh my god. We'll take our leave now. It's always good to know when to take a leave in this game. And we'll loop it back in. Okay, we're nowhere near done this round. I thought we were like pretty close done, but we weren't. Okay, we know that there's this one off. Trying to. Okay. Uh, we now know that that is the final zombie. We will. Uh... I think we'll go and we'll buy the trench gun actually, and have that be our supporting uh, weapon mainly just because. Um, that is also another weapon I want to show off. Uh, and it's... It, it feels easier. Holes in flesh is one of my also, it's just iconic to be using the trench gun. Oh, he was nice, I guess. And was just like... Okay. I guess he just has something else to do. Maybe he has a dental appointment. I don't know. I shouldn't judge. Ooh. This looks nice. It's so much nicer just not having, like... The missing textures everywhere. Um, so for this round, we will just kill him, um, and then we'll just use this to run back. It, they're both the same speed of weapon, but it just feels cooler. Um, next order of business is speed cooler. But yeah, at this point, we just uh, worry about using. Yeah, at this point, we just use the gut shot. Honestly, we camp here for a bit. We use the gut shot. They should easily, single-handedly, be able to uh, put us into uh, a good position. We just need to make sure that we median shots well. Okay, well that does something. I really love how you can just shoot from like... Okay, uh, I thought that I was like, going to join uh, a stream that my friend is doing that I was going to be part of, but my internet was being shitty. Uh, so I apologize that uh, that happened. Uh, they're playing DVD and my computer finally can play DVD again. So uh, I might continue doing my uh, basic guide to kill a series. However, I would be doing it way differently now. Uh, to make sure that it's just easier, digestible content for all of you. Oh, man, that's so annoying. I hate, I hate noises uh, interrupting the groove. Okay, good. Dog round. That's actually what we really want. Man's best friend. I don't think so. Um, at this point, we may as well just go and we may as well just go to double tap because. Essentially, at this point, there's nothing for us. To, like, we're probably not going to get enough. If we get enough for it, we can buy it. And if we don't, we can easily just go back. So it's kind of just a win-win no matter what happens. The only way it can come up to attack us is... There. Yeah. But now it's now it's anyone's uh, bet. Now they can little yeah literally be in front of us. Oh hello. Oh hello. They really like popping up right in front of us. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. Anyway. Yeah, partner. I'm thirsty. Yeah, we can use the. Yeah, I really like having the gut shot be the secondary weapon. It just feels really nice as a secondary weapon, because it's just very reliable overall. But uh, you still want to be able to get points, even if like you're not going so hard into it. 
uh, because we're getting, because we got a double tap as well, we can actually have the rainbowy colours, which is obviously the red, yellow, and then the green and the blue. But, uh, yeah. We're obviously really losing in the, um, uh, setting up scale. Uh, but I think round 14 is pretty good for setting up, at least. Uh, you. Do that again. It's just funny. Okay. 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 Uh, another one? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure that if that happens, we fight on our own terms. Okay. They have now officially no longer under the insta death. We'll just burst through them a lot more. Um, this is a hard one, but oof, that is a hard. One. Uh, nah, it's not a hard one actually. I'm going to go and buy ammo, because ammo only affects the reserve. So if I buy the ammo now, for the next round we have full ammo. Uh, and we have no points extra. Yeah, okay. But we now have full ammo for the MP40, so we can, you know, actually use it a lot more. Hello, friend. Goodbye. Okay. Man, I love how ornate and nice these look. And the fact that they're super shiny is just, like, a, it's so nice. It's beautiful. Um, so at the end of this round, I want to get, uh, hopefully, Speed Cola. Uh, and then at the end of next round, I want to get... Uh, and then, basically, round 15, I want to be fully set up with this weapon, I feel. We'll just kill you. If it's a singular enemy, I feel like I just want to use the uh, gut shot. We use this a bit. We have a we have a Timothy. We have a good old friend Timothy. We're gonna have to give him a really. No oh, he died. I wanted to give him a hug with the knife. Jesus, so many vi so much violence and sex on TV. Whatever happened to good old family values on which we used to rely? Bye. Oh, whoops. That was weird. Okay, it seems like these are the last ones. And they were! Okay, we can now get speed cola. Let's see what this looks like for reloading. Oh my god, so nice. There we go, that looks pretty nice to me. Uh, we'll get the final perk on this round. Know that. Don't know if that will actually help too much, but it's something. Hey, we did get a zombie, so we do have like a crawler for this round. It's always good. It would be really cool if there was like a, uh, a hand grenade uh, wall by here, but I feel like there would be no place. Oh no, you could put it in there. Like just as like a, as a like, you know, thing to like world at war, you know. I'll take that. That helps. Helps us get us our final perk. I do like how, uh, uh, because of Cold War, we do, we do actually fully know what's in each drink. Uh, and there is cat piss in, uh, in Quick Revive, which I just think is such a funny and nice detail to put in the game. Where is he? Oh. Oh, there's just generally more, okay. I was so confused, I was just like, where's this one zombie? A thousand away. If we didn't get the nuke, we would have been able to get it, but I want to, you know, I want to have a little bit more time, I guess. Dog round? Dog round, okay, cool. It's so nice seeing uh, the perks in this order, though. It's actually really nice looking. Um, HUD. Draw HUD. Zero. 
Uh, I want to do this just for a bit. Um, just because I think there's so much cool things to do. Like, there's so many nice uh, places to uh, get thumbnails and stuff like that. Uh, I hope that this isn't as annoying, uh, you know, doing things like this, where it's like... Uh, where it's like, obviously, like, oh, well, it's like, it's like doing the content. But, like, it's just so nice, in my opinion. Oh, man, it feels so fucking badass. The trench gun always feel, felt like, uh, a really cool weapon. Uh, okay. Uh, and then we will HUD. Draw hard one. We can now buy the Bowie knife. So at the end of round 15, I was right. Uh, we do have enough to be fully set up. Obviously, technically it's round 16 if you really want to count that. Uh, but hey, fully set up. You know, at this point, you know, you would use whatever... Like, at this point, uh, properly, you, you would... Uh, you were, instead of using uh, the trench gun, you would have tried to get like something like maybe the PPSH out of the box, which is so unfair. <laughs> Such an unfair weapon. Uh, I don't know how long we're gonna stay here for though. That's the real. Uh, that's the real question. Is like, how long are we gonna stay up in here? Do we do like the Type 100? Ooh, we have the dogs finally spawning in the normal round. That's, that's really entertaining, actually. I think I might go down here now. Uh, we'll activate this. Uh, we'll loop these zombies around. Get out. Realize the mistake of our position we were in. Uh, and I think we might do something that we haven't really done in this series at all. Which is teleport! Because you don't usually uh, need to teleport ever. But I think it's really. Oh my god, did you see how nice that looked? That was so cool! That actually looked freaking awesome. There's one zombie, one bullet. Oh no, there's more. Okay. Well, eh, yeah, fair enough. Um, but yeah, at this point, there's nothing. For, I was gonna be like, what could we, where could we go? But, uh, literally, as I just said, there's literally nowhere for us to go. Um, I think we should try in here. I think this could be a really interesting area to run around in. Uh, and we're gonna be using the trench gun for this bit anyway, so it's not like, uh, Shit matters too much. And we also have the trap here. So, as long as we're able to really keep in check the hordes uh, over here and such, uh, we basically are in the good. Uh, in the clear, rather. Okay. And I, I just like using different areas. Like, it just feels really lame. Uh, only using the catwalk in a video. Okay. okay. We'll quickly go and buy this up. I like. I, I. It makes me really wish that there was a uh, one of those BO4 things where it was like, uh, you know, for this round, uh, you can only stay in this area. I thought those were really cool. Lear house defense active. Protect Zoria, it's very important, yeah. I don't know how fast these zombies appear. Die. Dogs actually don't take damage. Or they might, but it, they can still easily hit you because of just how fast they run. Okay, for a while, the, uh, this area here is going to be safe. It'd be really interesting 
uh, if there was a balance patch to where only half, like it was like, okay, we died. But um, it would be really interesting if there was a balance patch to this game where they try to make it so like it's actually like, you know, like round 30 for instance is like ridiculously hard. And like you know, traps don't actually remove from the ca uh, from the timer as much. Like you know, it removes like half as many zombies as it actually kills from the uh, total amount of zombies left in the uh, round. So like if there's only 30 zombies, there's 30 zombies in the round left, and then you get all 30 through a trap and it instantly kills them. And there's still 15 left. Um, that could be interesting. So then it's more like you know, a way to like make sure you're, but like you know, you don't take damage when you run through it, kind of thing. So it's kind of more of a, you know, let me reload kind of thing. It could be kind of interesting, but. That's the video. I hope you all enjoyed. At the very end, it kind of wasn't the MP40 or the Afterburner, but at the end of the day, that happens sometimes with these videos. And at the end of the day as well, we got to show off some good things. Uh, I think that that game was pretty good overall, a pretty average game, and a pretty fun one. So, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.